Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Astroneer with yours truly, the intrepid Major Astro Nuts here in the 25th century gold rush. Currently back on my Terran planet, the very original planet that we had established when we first flew out into space to stake our claim in the 25th century gold rush. And check out what we just found. We found a lovely piece of wreckage here, guys. This is a giant solar panel or piece of one that fell out of the sky, out of orbit, and crashed here on our planet. And I'm just waiting for the sun to come around and hit the panel. There it is! There it is! You can see it! It's getting the power from the sun! Click on that thing. Watch what it can do. Looky what it can do! We can get power from the giant solar panels! Awesome! Okay, well, it's not going to do us any good out here. We're going to bring it home. <laughs> and this is what I came out here for. You can see my beacons over there. I've been exploring, looking for one of these. And now we have one. We just have to get it out of the way. Hold on a sec. Let me get my truck out of the way. We just have to get it out of here. I've got a winch on my truck, and we're going to drag this thing all the way back home. Which isn't actually that far. There's a bunch of other wreckage down there, too, that we can uh, come back for later. But first things first, got to dislodge this thing stuck in the ground. It impacted in the ground so hard when it fell out of orbit. Ooh, there it goes. That it got buried somewhat. And now... Still cranking, man. Still feeding off that sun, but hold on, fella. Bloop. You're coming home with me. <laughs> yes. All right, let's jump on the truck and bring it on home. All we have to do is follow our beacons. Oh, look at that. That is so excellent. Oh, it's heavy. It is heavy, but we can do it. We can do it. All right. Let's keep moving. Oh, actually, one thing I have to do. Hold up. Hold up. Hit the brakes. Uh, Dude, you can't ride shotgun. <laughs> You're too big. And besides, I need to put something there. My little solar dish right there to power this thing up on the way home. There's lots of gas stations on the way home anyway. I already marked them by the beacons just in case. Oh, there's a gas station right there <laughs> in case we ran out of power. But uh, I think we're doing okay right now. I've got some extra jerry cans of gas in my back pocket anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, all right. Hold on. Turn around. We smashed into this node, and the winch came free. No problem. Boop. Let's try again. Let's pull it this way. Oh, man, the sun's going down already? I tell you, the day-night cycle here goes too fast. I'd rather have more daylight and less night. Now, just keep our eyes open for any more huge holes or caves or things that are going to get in our way. So I've got lots of beacons out. And the ground is relatively flat here, not too many obstacles, so we should be able to get this panel home in one piece. I don't know about me, though. <laughs> that thing flying all around, I imagine it's pretty sharp. Whoa, 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 easy does it. I know you want to get home and power up my base, and I want you to do it too, but just relax. We'll get you there. There's another beacon over there. Um, hold on a second. Is that the right beacon? I think it is. I think it... Oh, there's another one over there, too. Yeah. Okay, we want to go toward this one to the left of the mountain. Oh! Oh, no! Wants to make a connection! Drat! Why did you do that? Try to make a connection to the truck. And my piece of science research... Nody thingy fell off. Oh, man. I really wish we could lock that up somehow. Like if you put something on the front or the back. Oh man, where did we lose it? Oh. It's been a while. Yeah, I wish we could just say, hey, listen, I don't want anything to attach here. Oh no. I lost that pod. It must have been a while ago. Oh, there you go. I just lost that thing too. All right, tell you what. We'll come back for the pod. Oh, that's where I found him anyway. Right there. Check it out. Um, we'll come back for the pod, no big deal. I've researched all the recipes anyway, so... I was just gonna bring it back and hold on to it until new recipes are added to the game. Oh man, we need to gas up a little bit. Uh, well we have enough gas right now, we can make it, let's go. I think we can make it. Well, let's just go to this gas station right here real quick. And gas it up. Hold on, I've got some gas in my pocket here, there we go. Gas it up. I'll grab some more. Fill it up, would ya? Unleaded. Uh, one more. Oh, wait. I don't have space for one more. 
It's gonna fall right in the ground. Bloop! I knew it! What a waste. Alright, let's go. There's base, guys! I can see the little house! We're so close! Oh, there's a research pod up there, too. A red blocky thing. Cool. Um, yeah, so once we get this back to our base, we'll be able to hook it up. And we'll have... we'll have major sun power. Now we have to use a vehicle. Whoops! Oh, I thought I lost it. No, it's still there. We'll have to use a vehicle as a conduit. Because you can't hook it up directly to the base, apparently. You have to use a rover or a truck as a sort of coupler. Oh, man, watch out for the hole! Don't you fall in that hole! Alright, I think it's all smooth sailing from here. Yeah, perfect. Oh, man, look at this thing! It's gonna be so awesome! Now we just have to find a place to put it. How about if we put it over here by this wreckage? Alright. Hit the brakes! I can do the rest from here, so check this out. If you grab the winch with your hands, you can move it around on your own. Look at this. I don't even know my own strength. I don't need no stinking truck. Now, the thing... Oh, did I, I reattach it? No, let go. Yeah, now the, the tricky part is... Hold on a sec. Leave that right there. Let's get rid of this thing. The tricky part is making sure that the right side is up. We need this thing up. This is the side of the panel that um, that'll absorb the sun and power stuff up. Otherwise, it doesn't work on the other side. As far as I know, that's what people have said. So now we have we we basically have two bases here. Like they're not connected because I goofed when I expanded, and I didn't leave any extra couplers around. I made all the uh, all, I made all the things without thinking about extra couplers like this one. So I think what I might do is, well, let's get it close. Let's get it closer to the both bases, like right over here. And then I can always um, hook it up together. All right, that's going to get plenty of sun laying down like that. But I don't think we can get a car attached to that. Where's my rover? All right, here's a little rover. Let's go see. Ooh, you're stuck on the ground, huh? How the heck did that happen? There we go. Let me free you. All right, we're out. Come on. Let's go see if we can get this thing connected from down here. I don't think so. We might have to, we might have to bring that coupler down a little bit. Get it a little lower. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not making a connection here. I'm gonna have to straighten it up. All right, let's see if I can get it to stand up straight. Whoa! All right, guys, I think we're gonna retract the winch right here, and I might have to dig a hole because this is not working out. I cannot get it to stand up perfectly straight. Obviously. Oh, whoa! Hey, that might work. Yeah, I should have thought about this in the first place, huh? If I just dig underneath it... Okay, that might work, that might work, that looks good. That looks good. And then raise it up on the other side, maybe? A little bit? A little bit? A little bit? No, no, dude, you gotta come back down. Yeah, stay! Stay put! Oh, I think that might work. And now, here's the trick. So now what you want to do is leave the game <laughs> and come back and it will be solid right where it is. I'm telling you, that's how it works with these things. And after that, you cannot move it again. It will not budge. So if we get it just right, raise it up from behind a little. Give it a little shove here. Just raise in the ground. Yeah, baby. I think that might work. I think that might do it. Now let's smooth this out. So I can drive right up. Smooth it. Smooth it. Okay, I just want to see if I can get a connection here. Let's make a love connection. Yes. Oh, super lovely connection. Look at that, guys. Amazing. Um, Alright, there's no sun power right now, so I can't do a test... 
but uh, we will when the sun comes back up. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it right here. Leave the game and come back, and that thing will be solid, and it will not budge again. But it looks like that's a pretty good spot. It's gonna get plenty of sun. Well, maybe not plenty. The sun's gonna rise behind it and spin around, but should get enough sun. Oh gosh, big storm. Okay, yeah. Let me uh, hold on. Let me leave the game. Right back. <laughs> I don't want that thing to move. All right, guys, I'm back, and the panel is still here, fortunately. Let's see if it is now immovable. It is. Oh, see? Isn't that great? All you got to do is leave the game and come back, and this thing is now stuck in that ground. It ain't going anywhere. Perfect. Even if I dig it up and try to move it with a winch, it will not work. I ended up uh, learning that the hard way a couple times. All right, so we're just going to put some solid ground around it. That looks nice. Excellent. And now we just wait for the sun to come up so we can uh, power up the base. And what I'm going to do is try to connect the two bases together. And I'm going to fashion up a bunch of big old batteries. And I'm going to have to do that with some trade, I think, because... I th do I have enough lithium? Trade, by the way, has been nerfed. The hydrazine trade business is no longer what it used to be. <laughs> um, apparently, it takes twice as much energy now to make the hydrazine, and its value has been cut in half when you trade for things. Which I think is a good move, because it was too easy to trade. Oh, there's a battery. I do have enough. Okay, I do have two lithium. Just enough. I'm going to make a big old battery. And put it somewhere in this base. Oh, you know, I'm carrying all this extra gas, which I don't need right now. Um, all right, let's figure out what to do with this. I want to do a quick test here and make sure that this is working properly. So how about if we... Oh, I know what we can do. Let's... Is that part of the panel or is that something different? Oh, that's not going anywhere. Here, let's... Um... I think we can connect all these bases together with rovers. Uh, tell you what, let's bring this out and put a battery here. Do I have any resin on me? No. Hold on. I hope this works. I don't mess up my base too much. Okay, let's have it go in this direction. That looks good. One little coupler. And there we go. That connects... The rover, and I think what I want to do right now is just drop, take that off, because I want to do a test and make sure our gigantic solar panel is actually working as intended. We'll put the battery pack here. I don't have any other power sources attached here, do I? No, nope, that's a beacon. No, I do not. Awesome. And I need, I need another rover. To attach the other base. So how about if we grab some more compound? I've got a whole bunch up here. I was ready for a big move. Yeah, I was saving all this compound for a, uh, a spaceship ride to some of the new planets. The ones we haven't seen yet. There's two or three we haven't seen yet, and I want to go check them out. But this is something I wanted to get to work. And I think, I think the sun is up now, guys. I think the sun is ready. Um, oh, we're going to need a seat. I think a seat's only a couple of compound. Oh, yeah, we got sun. We got sun power. That thing's cranking right now, man. We're going to get this done. And, oh, I can't even do it yet. <laughs> All right, well, let's hook up this part of the base anyway. And then we can make our rover and connect the other base. Let's do it. Come on. Get off. Let go. Oh, that solar panel is so jealous, that little guy. <laughs> Take this off, too. It's going to ruin the fun. Now, here we go. Let's connect this. Click on that. It's connected to the rover. Connect the rover to the base. Make a love connection, folks. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is amazing. I love it. It's cranking it up. It's cranking up the vehicle bay. And then the battery's going to get filled. Once the vehicle bay gets filled up. Oh, man, is it fast, too, huh? Wow. Much faster than that little fella over there. There we go. Battery's getting filled up. Oh, I love it. 
I love it. We can put another battery here, too. We just need more lithium. Excellent! Okay, let's go squirt a seat on this rover, and we'll use this rover as another coupler between the two bases. I'm not sure they're going to be able to reach, though. I'm going to have to get fancy. That's okay. We can do it. All right, so I wonder if I can connect it between... Can I connect it between all, like, the uh, shuttle... And, oh, wow! <gasps> no way! All right, but first of all, let's bring all the power off this first. Wind power... I just want a, a complete test. Now, are you sharing your power, Mr. Battery? Does not look like it. Oh, I can see why. This is not connected. I gotta connect the uh, the shuttle to the base. There we go. How about now? Oh, something's giving power over here. Oh, there's a solar panel right here. Stop. I'm not sure if that's actually going to work. It doesn't, you know what? It actually, it doesn't look like it because the battery is not being drained right now, is it? No, it's not. I might have to move the shuttle, but how do I do that? <laughs> Alright, guys, I think I got it. It's not pretty, but it works. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only way to couple the, uh, the bases together is with rovers. So I've got three rovers now. I've got a rover into the, uh, to the solar panel leading into this coupler, which then leads into this base, which is separate from this one. And then I've got this habitat that I dropped down here one time and it, it uh, deployed on its own, is now being used as yet another conduit between all the other rovers and bases, and now they're all combined. For some reason, it did not work through the shuttle. I don't know, I tried it many different ways and it just didn't work. Um, hopefully in the future there will be some sort of coupler recipe that we can unlock and maybe put actual couplers between um, all the bases instead of using rovers because it is kind of silly to use rovers. But that remains to be seen. Maybe that will happen, maybe it won't. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for the sun to come up and I think what I might do is make a few more batteries. Um, but I don't think I have any more lithium, so we're going to have to trade for it. Unfortunately, the hydrazine trade took a big hit with the last patch. So now hydrazine is only worth half of what it used to be. And it takes twice as much power to, to condense the fuel into one hydrazine. So yeah, this, this business ain't what it used to be, my friends. <laughs> Oop, got a little compound back there. It is now, wow, how many hydrazine is this going to take to get one lithium? Eight. Is that eight? Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Yay, go. Oh, guys, check this out. The sun is now rising, and the solar panel is feeding the entire base now. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it lovely? I don't think we need any power in this part of the base, but we will here in a second, as soon as I make some more hydrazine. And this will be the final test. And then we'll give it our seal of approval. Yep, here it comes. Here it comes, all the way from the giant solar panel. That is just lovely. Oh. All right, excellent. So I need one more lithium, and we will uh, we'll trade away, and we'll make a new battery. But now that we know this works, I'm going to go ahead and put all my other power devices on here that I pulled off just so I can test the uh, the big guy. But it seems to be working, so we can get back to sharing power. You think they'll notice that um, two-thirds empty hydrazine canister right there? <laughs> that was in the shuttle. It was attached to the tank. Apparently we didn't need all of it. I don't know if they'll notice. We're going to find out. We're going to send it away. All right, we're almost there. Almost there to one more lithium. I do like that they nerfed the trading because now we're forced to go out and actually hunt down resources like lithium and titanium and the other rare resources that are out there rather than trading for it. Because we never have to leave home 
if you could just trade for it all day long. I mean, you still can trade for it. It just takes a lot longer. There we go, one lithium. Coming up. <laughs> I guess the two-thirds empty canister worked. Although, we don't know until they see it. Maybe they'll send it back. And here it comes. It worked. <laughs> Maybe they didn't notice. I don't know. I'm not going to ask any questions. All right, here we go. Another battery. So we'll get two big batteries going. So yeah, this particular base that I made here. Oh, it's filling up right on the 3D printer. That's cool. Didn't know that. Where's it coming from? It's coming from the other battery, probably. Uh, oh, wind power here, too, of course. Yeah, so this base wasn't really designed very well f for expansion purposes. In fact, it's completely enclosed now. The only way to share power is through a rover. But we'll probably build up a new base soon. So we can get something that's really well designed and thought out ahead of time. Of course, when we first started playing the game, we had no idea what the bases were like or how to expand them. But now that we do, this really isn't very um, efficient. <laughs> but we will make changes the next time around. I think, in fact, we are done here for now, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. And I'll come up with some plan for something. I don't know what we'll do, but we'll do something fun. Anyway, there's our solar panel, giant solar panel powered base. It's uh, not the prettiest thing, but it works for now. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.